Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I thought that I would do a little Primark haul. So that is what we're going to do. I found quite a few nice little bits and I cannot wait to show you. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird magical online family. Okay, so I have got my Primark bag down here and the first thing that I'm going to show you I have actually already worn just putting it out there it's so it doesn't have the label on it but um I recently bought this from Primark it's a pastel jumper and oh I'm so back into the pastels at the moment it's a really nice cozy warm knitted jumper this cost about 10 pounds so we have cream pink a gray and then a lilac and it's my new favorite jumper I'm obsessed with it and so cheap and it's one of those really kind of like nice medium jumpers so they kind of cover the butt and I'm all about that so I really like that and it's still kind of the weather for jumpers it's gonna be for a few more months so couldn't resist now the next thing is a little bit unusual for me it's not something I would normally buy because I don't like skirts or dresses very often I'm not a big fan of my legs but hey I thought you know what it's nice I'm gonna try it it is a dungaree dress so here are the dungaree bits and it has silver little loops here and it also has a skirt it's got pockets Girls, you know how exciting it is when you find pockets in skirts or dresses or anything. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like this faux suede material. It's so soft and it's in like a dark gray, which I really, really like. And you could put jumpers under this or t-shirts or vests or anything. I think I would opt for a jumper underneath, maybe a t-shirt or a shirt the like possibilities are endless so yeah this was 10 pounds and I can't wait to wear it I've not worn it yet but um it's nice and I thought you know what I'm gonna be brave and pick something that I wouldn't usually go for the next thing I actually bought for my boyfriend because he got rid of his dressing gown which was really thin and not snuggly so I bought him this really nice snuggly dressing gown from the men's section and it's kind of like this gray white color speckledy gray I don't know how you describe it, but it's so snuggly and I believe this has pockets. Yes, it does. It has pockets. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. But just a nice snuggly dressing gown and they do really nice cheap dressing gowns. Um, this was £15 and it's one of their better quality ones and oh, can't wait to snuggle him in it. It's going to be great. Next up, I got a candle. You guys may have seen this candle on my Instagram already. I did take a photograph of it. This was £7. They've got a whole range of Harry Potter candles. So they've got the Gryffindor one, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. They've got all of them, but they also have a Hogwarts one in case you didn't want to pick your house or you don't know your house. And it has this gorgeous lid. It's like tin and it has the Harry Potter logo on top, which is just beautiful. And it's got a really subtle scent. They're not strong candles, at least this one isn't. I haven't smelt any of the house ones because I didn't really want them. Um, this went with the theme of my room better, so I didn't really want to get the Gryffindor one. But these are beautiful. I haven't lit it yet. I don't want to light it either because it will ruin it. Does anyone else do that? They buy candles, but they don't light them. I mean, I light some of them. The, this one I light all the time, but um, this one is just too pretty. So yeah, I went and bought a candle and it's a very good piece to the collection. I'm gonna get through some of the Harry Potter things. I also got this little card wallet and it's just standard black. It's fake leather. And I think this was like two pounds or something ridiculous. Like it was really, really cheap. And it's got two card holders there and it has one behind as well which is good and it has a card holder here but it currently has a picture of me and Pete in it I just put that there for safekeeping um but yeah a nice card I I live with these like I'm it's very rare for me to carry my main purse around with me all the time don't really like doing that because if I lose it then I've lost everything but um I do carry these card wallets around I'm currently rocking a neon pink one metallic pink from paper chase but I was just like oh Hogwarts yes please I'll take it and it was so cheap so I got one of these and it's so squidgy it's really soft it's very squidgy 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 okay <laughs> staying with the Harry Potter theme I got a jewelry set so on the bottom it's got two I think they're bracelets they're not 
long enough to be necklaces, I don't think. There's one with a lightning bolt on, one with the Hogwarts emblem on it, and then there is another necklace here, which is the main reason I bought this set, and it's like a little gold Hogwarts acceptance letter necklace. It's really like gentle and dainty and it's just so cute. And then there's four sets of earrings. So you've got the Hogwarts acceptance letter earrings, so cute. Lightning bolts, some plain little diamond studs, and then some Hogwarts studs as well. This whole set was five pounds, and I would have paid that just for that necklace, to be honest, because it's gorgeous. So yeah, really pleased with this. They're constantly bringing out new Harry Potter jewelry and new Harry Potter accessories, which brings me on to my next thing. Okay, so this is by far my favourite thing that I got from this haul. It's a brand new Harry Potter keyring. This was two pounds. I actually bought three more of these, so four in total. One for me, and I'm going to be doing some giveaways, so make sure you follow me on Twitter because sometimes I will be giving those away. Um, so this was two pounds, and it's a flying key. You guys know how I feel about the flying keys. I even have one tattooed to my arm. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, they're coming out with some amazing key rings. We have the snitch key ring that came out a few weeks ago. I think they may have stopped doing those in certain Primarks. I didn't see any in the one I go to, but they have replaced them with these. And oh, it's just so cute and magical. And for two pounds, come on. That is absolutely bonkers. As I said, I did get a few of those key rings. So make sure that you're following me on Twitter because I will be giving away some of these. I've already given away a golden snitch. And yeah, I thought that I would send some of these to you guys because I know that not everywhere has Primarchs. Okay, so what else did I get? Oh, I am obsessed with these. If you see these in Primark, get some. These are their velvet leggings, plush velvet linings. So these are really thick, warm leggings, perfect for winter and wearing with baggy jumpers. I don't know if you can see, but inside it is like fleece and fur lined and it's so warm, it makes you feel like you're a bear with fur on your legs. Um, no, they're really, really comfortable and they do keep you warm unlike tights or thinner leggings. These are great. This is my third pair of buying these and they're six pounds. I get the small to medium ones. I'm a size 12 if anyone was wondering. So this one will fit you if you're around my size. But yeah, it says the warmest leggings you will ever wear and they weren't joking. They really are the warmest leggings that I've ever worn. So every time I go, I pick up another pair because I'm really scared of like running out of these or them getting too worn and old. So I keep buying them. I have a velvet fur legging addiction. I also picked up some false nails. I actually really love the false nails in Primark. Two pounds, you cannot go wrong. They're so, so cheap. And I love all of their patterns. I normally get the um, chrome sort of um, iridescent ones that are like rainbowy, but I found these and these ones are called Galactic and they're like white, but also iridescent and glittery and mm, love them. But I do use my own nail glue with these. I haven't ever used the actual glue in these, so I don't know what it's like, but I have heard that it's acceptable and it's okay. But yeah, I, I, I tend to pick up a lot of these as well, just because they're so cheap and I am always wearing false nails. If you didn't know, these are not my real nails. Um, I haven't not worn false nails for years. Um, so I always pick them up and this one's cheap, cheerful and really super pretty. Now, I know that it's still winter. It's not even spring yet. It's not even anywhere close to summer, but <laughs> Primark have started selling summer things and I saw sunglasses. Oh yes, I couldn't resist. So oh, guess how much these were? A pound crazy. So these are some sunglasses. I'm going to keep the label on for now, but look at them. I just thought they were cool. I'm not going to lie. I bought them for Instagram pictures, but I really like the color. Like these aren't really going to protect your eyes from the sun very well, though it does say UV protection. So maybe it will, but yeah, I loved the color of these. Can you see? It's like a turquoisey cyan color. And then the last pair, I tried them on in the shop. I was like, can I get away with these? Can like, can I pull these off? And I'm still not sure. You'll have to let me know down below. Um, these were three pounds. So this is like their more premium range of sunglasses. If you like, check these bad boys out. Oh yes, they're almost mirrored and they're pink. And I'm just, I'm just enjoying these. Like, can I get away with these? I'm not even sure, but 
I like them, I couldn't resist. It got me excited for summer and three pounds. They're just so, oh, there's a mark on that one. I'll have to polish them, but yeah, really cute, really nice. So if you're after some cheap sunglasses that look cute and you want them for cute photo purposes, I would definitely recommend those. I don't trust sunglasses that aren't expensive to actually protect my eyes, but they're really, really cute. And that is the main reason I bought them. So I think that is everything that is in this Primark haul. It's a short but sweet version of it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. What was your favourite thing? I cannot choose, but it has to be between the flying keyring, the pastel jumper, and the jewellery set for Harry Potter. Those are my top three from this haul. Ah, uh, can't wait to wear all the jewellery. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you want to see next on my channel. I'm always open for suggestions. I want to start making stuff that you guys want to see as well. So definitely leave it down below. There is one thing that I don't necessarily want to do, which is an updated Harry Potter collection, just because that takes so long to film and I have to completely destroy my bookshelves and take everything out and I'm not ready to do that so soon. So I'm not gonna be doing one of those this year, I don't think. But anything else that you'd like to see on this channel, let me know in the comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.